Hey, how y'all doing this morning? This morning, I wanted to kind of let y'all in on some new products that I got, and hopefully I'll be getting some more here soon. It's a company that I did a lot of research on. Um, basically, let me start with the problem I had. If you've noticed, a lot of the kitchen utensils I have that I use as far as spatulas and stuff, I'm a cutlery, but it's just it's cheap junk. You know, you can get it at the grocery store. and. I was tired of you know having to get you know stuff from replacing it, you know cracking, melting, all that sort of thing. You know, I mean, I hate I need to use this as an example. I mean, this is it is what it is. I mean, this thing was probably three dollars, you know, at a kitchen outlet store at the grocery store. So I started researching. I said, you know, who makes some really good high quality kitchen tools? You did research after research, looked at review sites, and this, that, and the other. Came up with this company called Lampson and Goodnow. And apparently, they are the oldest American made cutlery company. They've been around since 1837 in Sh Shelbourne Falls, Massachusetts. Uh, they make cutlery, but they also make some very high quality kitchen utensils. Like, take for instance this. Uh, fish slash asparagus tuner spatula here now if you'll notice i mean this is made of high carbon stainless steel made here in the usa not to say there's not there's you know stuff that's made outside of the usa is no good but you know that it's going to be quality a tool like this is made here in the usa because it's made with quality construction out of quality materials here's another thing i want you to look at now this is just a tuner just a spatula okay look at the full tank. Look how that goes all the way around the metal layer, all the way through the handle. You have basically, you know, like we would call this a knife, a full tang. This is all one piece of stainless steel here sandwiched between the hard, hardwood handle with the rivets here. So this is going to hold, this is going to stand the test of time. You will ever have to worry about this snapping off or anything like that. Made of high carbon, I mean, yeah, high carbon stainless steel. This is a really good piece here. I mean, this will last you a lifetime and then some. I and mean, this is something you could hand down. But anyway, this is just one of the things I got in my first order. I thought, you know, I really wanted to replace this flimsy little thing here. So I got something like this, this fish tuner, asparagus. And I could probably, in a pinch, I could use this for hamburgers or something like that. Use, you know, flip a po' boy. Well, there's a lot of use I think I can get out of this. It's got a nice ledge on it as well. Another product I got is this uh, shrimp deveiner peeler. The way this works, you know, I did read a lot of reviews on this thing before. This is actually kind of one of the first pieces to turn me on to the steel. It comes in a little tube here. Let me see if I can get it open. You've got your hardwood handle and you've got your blade here, okay? So I am going to, you know, we just did all those shrimp by the week, so I, I hate to. You know, throw in another shrimp video right now, but we'll do one here very soon. Basically, what you do is you take your deheaded shrimp, you push that right down there where the vein is, and you just kind of push the shell off. And this blade here actually opens up the shrimp like I do with the scissors to where you can get the vein out very easily. And this little point here, I don't know if you can see that, helps you to grab the vein or the sand trail. This is a great little tool, like I said, very well made. It's just got the half tang design here, but still, I mean, this is a very a small blade, so you wouldn't really need a full tang for this. Um, that's a nice little piece there. I mean, that's another, and they call the, the blade company stuff this Lamps and Sharp. I'll put a link to it. Pro, uh, like I said, all made here in the USA. Really nice piece there, y'all. Can't wait to, to use that. Another thing that I've been thinking about that I need in the kitchen, especially now that I'm doing the barbecue videos and stuff like that, dealing with some larger pieces of meat and vegetables, is a good meat cleaver. Now, there's several things you want to look for in a cleaver. Of course, you definitely want a good full tang cleaver. You want a nice, heavy, nice wooden handle with the rivets there, but you want something with a nice weight to it, and this has that. I don't know if you can see the spine there. And that that is this very nice cleaver. Not too too heavy, but it is heavy enough to where this is really gonna get through 
a lot of meat, bone, vegetables, whatever you want to do. And it has a really nice edge on here with this high carbon stainless steel. Hopefully you can see that. I've got a little potato here. That's all I had on me this morning. You know, we can just kind of, um, you know, just do a small demonstration. Just of basically, you know, just with the weight of the cleaver, that's all you have to do is just drop it. I mean, I'm not even, look, I'm not pressing down or anything like that. I mean, it goes right into it. Um, very nice tool there. Let's see, you know, test the edge too. That's another thing good about a cleaver. A lot of times, you know, some of them don't have much of an edge. This one, you, know, you can actually slice in there with it. This would be good for uh, if you were slicing something like, you know, some frozen steaks, or something like that. You want to slice them up in the thin pieces. Let's say I wanted to cook on the salt block or something like that. That'd be nice, you can take a little frozen piece of steak, put that on the hot salt, but you could use it just like that. You still got somewhat of an edge there, but not too fine of an edge because, like I say, you're going to be, you know, mainly doing your chopping on this. You just wanna, um, you just wanna be hacking through, you know, the bone and the flesh and stuff like that. You know, use it like a cleaver should be used. But that's a very nice, very well-weighted cleaver and, you know, quality material there I mean that, I'm very excited about that I mean that, that, that's really cool but I've got a couple other things I'm thinking about ordering that make a really nice it's one thing you always getting torn up is a potato masher you know I've had so many mash let me go get mine and show you what I mean like I said I'm, I'm really satisfied with how this stuff performs I mean this is really some great tools here the Lawson you know Lampson and good now. I mean, they have got some really high quality stuff out there. I mean, that you just not gonna not gonna see on the market today everywhere. I mean, without spending a ton of money, and they're priced, you know, very nicely to where you know you don't have a you know let's go out there and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I mean, this stuff is still priced very reasonably, and I am just totally happy with it. I can't wait to have it with some. There's some really good chicken in and stuff like that with this cleaver. I mean, I'm just enjoying practice with it now, just seeing all sorts of little things that we can do. But um, like I said, we'll um, we'll experiment more with this as time goes on. I'm really eager to try some of their more products, more of their products. You know, like I said, the potato masher. Oh yeah, I was going to get my potato masher earlier. Uh, search around, I can't find it. Anyway, probably broke. I'm sure. Um, you know, because you're always getting those plastic ones and they have that little wishbone right there and you always get one of those alarms that break. So anyway, <laughs> might as well go ahead and order me one. Um, and I'll show that to y'all when it comes in. But anyway, just wanted to give y'all a quick look, quick look at the Lampson and Good, good Now, um, the Lampson Sharp, as they call it, uh, you know, company and their products. And I'm, I'm really pleased with this stuff and I plan on using it a lot. So anyway, thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.